In this session, we use a hip implant problem to review the knowledge we have learned about strength. Hip implant is a surgery to replace a worn out or damaged hip joint. A painful hip joint is replaced by an artificial joint, often made from metal and plastic components. And here the simulation is conducted on the metal implant part. The design of an ideal hip implant requires consideration in many different aspects. Here we're looking into the deformation status of the neck area of the implant. The proximal load transfer to implant cause challenge to narrow neck area. Excessive deformation should be avoided for an appropriate hip implant design. A mechanical analysis is conducted for the given hip implant design and the results need to be evaluated. For this analysis problem, geometry is given. The load is applied to the implant head in vertical direction. The end of the stem is fixed as it is embedded to the femur, which is the thigh bone. The material is simulated as titanium alloy in elastic range with given Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio. So compare the deformation contour and equivalent strength contour over the entire loading process. We will find that the maximum displacement occurs at the implant head, while the maximum strength occurs at the implant neck area. The strength contour reflects the distortion condition of the neck area, which we are interested in. As for the strength tensor, we can generate a contour plot for each component. Because of symmetry of the strength tensor, there are six individual plots, three for normal strength and three for shear strength. The individual strength component result does give us some information, but in many cases, we do hope to have one combined contour plot to have a more direct impression of the strength condition. That's where equivalent strength came in handy. In this case, the equivalent strength clearly tells us the maximum distortion occurs in the neck area of the hip implant, which is as expected. Let's verify the equivalent strength value from the strength tensor for a certain point from the body. I pick the point with the maximum equivalent strength. First, we find the six strength components for this point and list them here. Note that depending on the finite element software you're using, the output shear strength could contain the multiplier 2 or not. For instance, the output values are directly twice of the shear strength. Then we substitute these strength components to the equivalent strength formulation, and the calculated results match the given equivalent strength, as shown here. With the maximum equivalent strength result, let's determine if the hip implant design meets the design requirement. Assume that in this design, if the equivalent strength of titanium alloy reaches 5.74 micrometer, the material should no longer be considered as functional and the design fails for the requirement. Based on the analysis result, the maximum strength obtained from this analysis is 5.73 micrometer, which seems to be smaller than the requirement. However, for the equivalent strength result and the given strength requirement, are these values true or engineering strength? This might affect the conclusion for this design. The analysis is conducted by ANSYS and ANSYS always provides true strength result. This means the equivalent strength result is a true strength value. So if the strength requirement 5.74 micrometer is also a true strength value, the hip implant design passes this requirement. However, if the strength requirement is in engineering strength, we need to do a conversion before comparing the two values. We can convert the obtained equivalent strength value to engineering strength using the relationship equation between true and engineering strength. And turns out, the engineering strength of the equivalent strength is larger than the strength requirement, which means the design needs modification. This example here seems to be a design entrapment, but the point we want to prove here is engineer needs to pay attention in dealing with true and engineering strength values.